So in this video I'll show you how I've made a or will be making a control box for the AUX router that I'm building. And here it is. It's uh, only a mechanical setup yet. No wires. I'll show that and I'll also show a diagram. At the top I have mounted a uh, one of those e-stop buttons. I'll only use it for uh, the stepper motor power so I can avoid that the steppers are sitting and getting hot. So basically press this one and then the uh, power will go off and then whenever you want to run then you put the power on. The e-stop is here and um, I have made it so that I can move it around on the machine. Uh, so I have it uh, at handy uh, and then I have mounted a 3.5 millimeter jack on on it uh, here it is sitting here and I would actually use that for the probe so the probe you will connect the wires here uh, so you can do the probing and uh, that's why it's also very convenient to have this uh, one moving around so this is the e-stop at the bottom I've routed out an aluminum plate you can see here that uh, you have a output for the spindle. This is a power out a European type one. Get the power in here. You connect the PC. And then I've used six of these uh, eight uh, connectors. So here is it open. You have the uh, panel connector to the breakout board. And then you have the four stepper controllers and uh, the power supply and a small step down, DC step down, that will change the uh, 18 to 5 volts. So we have 5 volts for the breakout board. So I've taken the electronics out now. And um, the way everything is mounted here, you can see there's no screws in the uh, holes here. I've basically just put all of it uh, on with double-sided uh, tape, VHB from 3M. It's uh, very, very robust. Uh, you can lift the whole thing uh, and nothing happens. And the small print here is mounted on a uh, plexi plate I have routed out here. Double-sided tape on both this side and this side. So it's sitting nicely. And uh, the breakout board is also on a plexi plate and there's a double sided between the base plate and the plexi but this way up here I have actually put on some screws so uh, you can take the breakout board out easily uh, and you would like to do that because otherwise it's a little difficult to get access to all these uh, terminals here getting wires in and out I've also set all the dip switches uh, on the stepper driver. The stepper driver is a DM542A. It's one of those Chinese things. Um, and the dip switches are set like this. So they are on, 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 off, 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 on, on. And that should be equivalent to uh, saying that the max current in the coil is 1 amp, which is the first three, the number 4 is a half current when it's not moving to uh, keep it a little colder and then the next four is the setting for the uh, pulses per revolution and I've set that to 1600. One last detail I want to note is that I have basically glued on one of these relays here on top of the uh, output for the spindle so uh, it, the wire will be pretty easy because you just get your power in here and out here and then you get the power from the power block over here so after a couple of hours of soldering and cutting and so on all wires are now in place and uh, I'll just zoom in on a few things here you have the 3.3 uh, kilo ohm resistors that will be connected to the proximity switches so because they're running on 24 volts and since the that's far too much for the optocouplers you have to put that in series with the signal um, and then here we have the rest and I'll try to go and connect everything and see if it's working 
Before we do that, I just want to really quickly show you the uh, wiring diagram I've made here. You have a breakout board. It's just one of those standard ones you can buy. Uh, connecting uh, to uh, all the different things you have inside the box. So if you start out the, uh, on the um, right hand side, you have the two PSUs, 5 volts and 25 volts. 5 volts for the breakout board and for the pull and deer on the stepper driver. Uh, <clears throat> you have the spindle relay connected to 17 and ground and plus. And you have the probe connected to pin 15 and ground, e-stop connected to pin 10 and ground. And then you have the uh, proximity switches I use for limit switch and home switch. They're connected to pin 11, 12, and 13. And I just made the, uh, the diagram so you can see the, uh, the switch, how it's connected to 24 volts with the blue and the brown uh, wire. And then a resistant be resistor between the blue and the black in order to make the uh, voltage uh, acceptable for the input on the breakout board. Uh, the alternative is you get 24 volts in, which is far too much. With a resistor of 3.3 kilo ohm, you get around 5 point something volts on the input, and that works really well. So, having said that, yeah, I will post the uh, diagram somewhere. I will make a link on the posting here. Uh, you can definitely find it. Okay, so I've started uh, Mac 3. And I have basically coupled all the uh, wires up, only uh, motors temporarily. And I have the e-stop and three proximity uh, switches, one for X, Y and C. And uh, then let's see how it all works. I will uh, start just to uh, jog the motors and uh, see if that works. Oops, I need to... Uh, Reset. This is the X that's going fine. And Y. And we have. They are going each their direction, which they should. And then let's see. Page up and page down. Works fine. And then if we go back on the screen, we. Uh, can test the e-stop and it worked release it and reset and then if we go to diagnostics here we can try the different uh, limit switches here we have home at M1 home at M2 home at M3 and if I just Look how it looks down here. You have the LED at the end going on. And then finally, let's try the, um, the probe. I'll just do like this. And on the screen, you can also see that it goes at the dial. So everything works. Uh, so now it's basically a matter of building the machine and uh, then connect it in the same manner. So let's go out and build the machine.